you said it's an angry, divided, compassion fatigued Australia that is going to the polls next weekend. Why do you think that is so? Oh, I don't know. Have you caught the news in the last couple of years? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a quick previously on McLeod's daughters. Okay. <laughs> you, she fell off her horse. You awakened from a coma this morning to do the show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. fair enough. You obviously see the big ads from Malbo, the big ads from ScoMo. You see all these big traditional things in the world of advertising. But the message that you're going to be getting in far north Queensland and about the election is going to be very different to the message that you're getting in Western Australia about the election. So they might just say, what do we need, like, you know, for Lisa? This is what Lisa's interested, these three things. She's going to get specific political messages. Oh, that, God, mm. like my phone knowing when I'm at Bunnings. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's right. I mean, this is exactly okay. what it is, though. Yeah. 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 Bunnings is a good example because much like Election Day, <laughs> most people are still there for the sausage. Of so. course. Yeah. <laughs> Democracy sausage. <laughs>